I'm joined by uh, Mark Weisbrot. He is the director for, of the Centre for Economic and Policy Research. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Now, you feel that uh, the Greek people have got a right to be angry uh, at the way that uh, their country is going. Why is that? Well, absolutely. I mean, compared to the United States, for example, imagine if in the worst of our recession a couple of years ago, the government decided to cut $800 billion out of the fiscal uh, deficit, and then uh, unemployment soared to 16%. And then they decided to cut an, another 400 billion, and uh, these are just the same numbers, you know, as uh, as Greece only uh, applied to the United States. It would be the equivalent of losing already three million jobs. And now the parliament is going to vote to cut uh, again by U.S. standards would be another four and a half million uh, jobs. So these are, you know, they're small numbers, smaller numbers in Greece because it's only a country of 10 million people, but they're huge in Greece and, they're, and, and there's no light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, you know, almost all economists would have predicted just what you're seeing. The economy shrank mm -hmm. uh, by four and a half percent last year. And so what's the point of all this? That's the other thing, um, you know, the, everybody realizes that Greece can't pay this debt and they're going to have to restructure it. So why put them through years of punishment, uh, high unemployment, all the social costs that go along with that, and then they're going to have to restructure it anyway. Why not do it now? Now, the, uh, you've said before that actually the Greek government has got more bargaining power than it's using. Where we are at the moment, uh, where they're desperate for one IMF uh, bailout tranche and a whole, another whole bailout, do you still think that Greece has got more power than it's using? Well, of course. I, I mean, the, the European authorities don't want a disorderly default, so uh, they have an interest in, in negotiating. But the government would have to stand up to them. And they may have to. I mean, there's been a big shift in Greek public opinion, you know. Uh, it wasn't very long ago the majority of Greeks were convinced that they had to make these uh, sacrifices. And now you see polls, 80% uh, say they don't want to make any more concessions to the European authorities. There's a lot of deep resentment. People can see that they're being tormented uh, for no apparent uh, uh, goal, at least from their point of view. Obviously, the European uh, authorities are looking out for the creditors. Uh, but that's not the vast majority of people in Greece. So I think that the, the government may yet be forced uh, into a position where they, they have to stand up to the European authorities. And if they have to default, uh, that might still be a lot better than uh, having uh, years, uh, years more of, mm -hmm. of recession. And, and everything else that is being demanded. Now, there's also, of course, a, a split uh, within the wider EU. Uh, Germany and the ECB uh, seem to be on different tracks with regard to that private debt. Do you think that they will have to resolve that? Yes. And uh, really, the European uh, authorities are, are in denial about this completely. And the markets clearly have recognized that there's going to have to be a restructuring or default of some kind. And it's just the European Central Bank uh, and some others in the European, among the European authorities that are, are pretending that this isn't going to happen. They're trying to put it off as long as they can for reasons that, you know, I, I wouldn't really even know how to explain. Okay. Mark Weisbrot, thank you very much indeed for your insights there.